I've got the next question here from Sarah, and Sarah wants to know, I'm wondering what a writer without a manager can do to up their online pre profile. So far, I have my spec scripts listed with the poster and log lines on stage 32 and script revolution, and I also have a blog. What else can I do that's free? I mean, I'll pop in and just yeah. say networking, yeah. you know, being visible. Obviously, the screenwriting, a lot of the lounges on stage 32 mm -hmm. are extremely active. Host content. Get in the mix. I could tell you, true story, just happened a couple days ago, a writer on stage 32 hit me up to go, thank you so much for this platform. It's amazing. I just got my first paid assignment. I wrote back, said, how'd you get the paid assignment? And she, she literally was discovered. It wasn't through any of our services. She literally was discovered because she was um, hosting in the lounge yeah. and was handling her stuff really well. And a producer was looking at all this stuff and went to her profile, saw her log lines, said, this is really kind of interesting. It was a rom-com. He said, you know, I'm interested in rom-coms right now. Tell me more about it. She did. He said, give me the script. And then he said, I don't want to do this one, but I want to hire you to do it. Yeah, I want, I amazing. have an idea. That's fantastic. Well, it was all just by being visible yeah. and contributing and, you know, presenting, she presented very positive. Like I went to right. go look at all the posts and her posts were very, very helpful. And, you know, she contributed where right. she could and she shared great content. So, you know, sometimes I it's just being it, yeah. in the right place in the right time yeah. and putting your best face forward. Exactly. Well, yeah, absolutely. Lounges are a perfect place to live and live in, you know, if, you, if you're a screenwriter, sit there and contribute as much as you can, show as much of your voice as you can, be as helpful as you can. Um, and, and really take some time. Remember, this is this is we spend a half an hour to an hour at a gym. Go spend half to a half an hour to an hour on the site clicking around. You know, that's an investment in yourself. Um, figure out who you can network with. If you want to add somebody you think they're great, get connected and, and talk to them directly. Um, that's what this platform is for. I, and I love the investment in yourself because I've mentioned that in the past mm -hmm. about like, you know, that how I created sort of a slush fund to be able to go out to get the right kind of coverage and everything like right. that. It's not always about money. It's about the time. Totally. It's about, you know, you can go on to stage 32 and go into these lounges for free. Uh, that's why they're there. You know, it's it's your choice, and this is what we always talk about about relinquishing control. You could spend that hour watching Mindhunter, or you could spend that hour, you know, being in the you mm -hmm. know being in the lounge, right. clicking around, looking at producers' profiles. A lot of the producers on the site will mention what kind of scripts mm -hmm. they're looking for, or you can look at their filmography and say, "Hey, I noticed you did this film. Are you interested in? I have something similar." You know, it's all about the effort you put out, you put in, and how knowledgeable you are, and and the digging you do. Yeah. Sometimes it's about you know excavating a little bit and putting in that time. Absolutely. And and you know if you do that, man, you you you're giving yourself such a competitive advantage. I can't stress it enough. Yeah, absolutely. No, and that's exactly right. It's it, it all comes down to now that you're now that you're up there, now that your stuff is up there. Now it's like, all right, who else can I be talking? Who else can I be meeting with? Who else can I you know take it offline? With? And how can I draw attention to myself? Yeah. Right. I mm -hmm. mean, at the end of the day, I mean. When I was a theater actor in New York, we used to call it uh, uh, the couch syndrome. Actors would be like, oh my God, I'm so fantastic. And like, look at, look how great, I just killed this class mm -hmm. and everything like that. And then they go home. And we used to sit there and go like, they would think they're gonna lay on the couch and a casting director was gonna knock, knock on, the on the door, door and yeah. go, hey, by, we're giving you the right. starring role in this. Writers do the same thing. Yeah. Writers are like, oh, I posted my log lines and nothing happened. Right. Right. Well, there's 600,000 people on stage too. Why are they clicking right. on your profile? Right. You know, you got to give them a reason mm -hmm. and you got to be out there and you got to be digging and you got to be building those relationships. Yeah. That's what you can do. Yeah. And it takes work, but people don't like doing right. the work. So That's do true. the work. And, and, uh, and Amanda will move on right after this. Mm -hmm. I promise. Um, the follow up work, too. Right. You sent your script to somebody four weeks ago. I have a four week rule. Right. My four week rule is if I don't hear from you, I'm knocking on your door. I'm checking it. You know, whether it's a virtual door or whatever. I mean, like, hey, you ever check, you know, take a look at that. Um, a lot of times people will get it, they'll get buried in their inbox and you popping up and saying, Hey, do you, you know, did you take a look at that? We'll get them to be like, Oh, let me do that right now. You know, um, the biggest thing that I find about writers and, and you know, it's, it's something you have to overcome. Um, cause we all do it to a certain extent, very shy. Don't want to bother anybody. Yeah. Don't, yeah, can I, can I submit this? You know, right. If they've asked for it, it's cause they want to read it. And if they haven't read it, it's probably cause they've got, 60 other things they're also looking at so it's again that's my rule my my rule is a four-week rule uh don't make it a a, a four-hour rule uh give it some reading room but definitely follow up you know 
And the reason I win more is because my rule is a three-week rule. Right. <laughs> no, it is, though. I actually yeah. have a three-week rule. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. I have a three-week rule, but it's good. never less than that. Right. Give them three weeks. Right. Exactly. Yeah, at least.